All right, this is my attempt to put a, uh, I guess a crank uh, elevator or I guess riser on my drill press. This one is just manual right now and it's pretty heavy and uh, pretty tough to get where I want it. So I had seen some guys taking a um, trailer jack and adapting that and I'm gonna try my own version of that. Every one I've seen They've had the handle down at the foot here, and then the part that goes up and down goes above it. Um, that's fine, but I don't want to have to reach down that far to adjust it. So my version will be flipped, where I want this handle up here where I can reach it. And uh, so I'm pretty sure I can do this. Uh, I jumped ahead a little bit without you. So let's start out with materials. So I just bought uh, it's a $26 Harbor Freight Jack, trailer jack, and I believe it's gonna have all the parts in it that I need to do this. So there's the jack itself. I've already removed the swivel mechanism because I won't be using that. I don't need it, and but I'm gonna leave this on here and reuse it. And then I took a grinder and cut the base off of this. Um, and this base will be a bracket because I need to secure this bottom part to the pole and, and that part won't move. That will actually just stay on the pole. So I cut this piece off. Um, this I'll turn into a bracket to secure this. So I'll end up welding this down to this bottom pole. And then this piece, let me walk you over here. All right, this piece right here, normally you would have the wheel through here and a, a bolt through that as an axle. I'm going to turn this into a bracket instead and, uh, and use it to attach my bottom pole right to the, to the main shaft. So this will squeeze in this way. I'm just using the bolt that came with this to secure that so I'll just tighten that down and then my bottom pole will be welded to this. Um, the top one, let me show you what I'll do with that. Alright, the top of the jack will fit right here. I've got access to the handle and it clears the, the top. And then what I think I'll do with this, and again, these are some brackets that came with this unit. I'll weld those in and I may have to put another gusset there. And then this piece will actually go up and down, rest on the bottom of the tabletop and should carry that up and down. So let's find out if this is actually going to work. All right, here it is all welded up. Got our bottom bracket ready to go, top bracket, these two will carry the collar for the table, so let's get it assembled. All right, there it is, all finished up. Let me show you how it operates. All right, just a simple crank. Takes it down, takes it up. You can still lock it in. I think I would do that when I get, uh, get it where I want it. simple to operate 
Angles right where I want it. No more adjusting by hand. All right, let's do a quick recap. So the first thing I did is is cut that foot off. The foot was attached here. I cut it off and re-welded it to the side here. Spread it out just a little bit. And now you can see it's just clamped tight to the main post for the drill press. And then the top part, I just simply took a couple of the brackets that came with this, welded those on, and then I used just a bolt between those to loosely uh, just guide it along the post here. I didn't want it tight. And then it actually came with a, a little bushing. So I threw that bushing on there as a roller just to keep it moving freely and uh, adjusted it, bolted it in. And there we have it almost factory but that handle is right where I want it so I'm pretty happy with it and the only other thing I did was put a little bit of oil on the post for the drill press because it uh, was a little chattery going down um, but now it seems to move pretty freely so that's it cheap fix